of its changes are the status quo. That's not necessarily what we need, but it is necessarily what, which, that which inevitably has to happen because of the nature of the universe. Uh, time space changes, matter changes, energy changes. So what we're really talking about and reaching into is not about earth changes, but heart changes. That is the issue. What are the heart changes someone is capable of? That, Sir, are you able to change your heart from dark to light? From hate to love? Woman! Mother, are you able to transform your darkness into light? Or do you need an act of God to do it for you? You need something from the sky to fall down and terrify you to wake you up to what was originally built into you all? Of your status quo as spirit soul beings? Easy to forget. Because it's, it's depending upon uh, a spiritual quality of intelligence to know that for sure. So who knows that? Your spirit soul that has no color, who knows that? So, and that as a ghost form of your own being, which is inevitable in everybody's case, you don't have a color. What color is it spirit? You can't see. What color? Come on, people. You know it all. You academics, you professors, you doctors, you teachers, and all that. Everybody assumes they know it. Yeah. So we're talking about heart changes. The individual's decision to transform itself into the love of soul, spirit, goodness, compassion for others. That's what's called having a heart, man. You care for others. And everybody, you know, racists and otherwise, others, you know, and non racists love their own people. The idea is. Do you have the courage to expand that, open that envelope up to all people? Is it only left to the Christians and the Buddhists to do that? Huh? Or saints? That's what I love the Catholics for. They have their saints. Right? They're geniuses. Right? They're extraordinary devotees of spirit, you know. You have to look into the lives of the saints to know what what that is about for yourself. When you get there, you want to hear about powerful people? Check that out. And every country has its saints. You know, it's very holy ones and those who are above the the darkness of general social self hatred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was raising the question in terms of this discussion on the earth changes and what's inevitably happening <clears throat> and saying in terms of the Dharma, does that, does it change anything or, or does, should it change anybody's uh, actions? Everybody is the Dharma. Everything is the Dharma and yet nothing is the Dharma and nobody is the Dharma. See? Yeah. And that is the truth truth of it. See. When are you the Dharma? When are you not the Dharma? See. And by that we mean the spiritual path. Does it go anywhere? 
does it disappear at night because you go to bed or you go to sleep? <laughs> Uh, is that the, uh, what is the word, Dis dissolution of the Dharma because you go to sleep? Uh. The Dharma is every breath and every brain wave. That's what the Dharma is. It's life itself. See. And, and it, it is also um, a nod to those who feel they have a special duty to help and assist other beings to lift them, to educate them, and most importantly, to enlighten them. That's what the Dharma is. What, whatever is the enlightenment thing in the moment. That's what is available to everybody. What is the enlightenment thing to do right now? Hate? No. Forget about that. That's, that's animal darkness. Who needs more animal darkness? Dogs barking at each other, you know, chewing on each other like wolves. Rabid wolves. That's lower human nature. That's racism. There's also a form of disgracism in the light of the spirit that we have, that we have as potential for goodness and kindness for all people who need it, children, adults, elderly, all need spiritual healing. It's our human nature to do that, be that. Mm -hmm. Hugh. Hugh. So Bapu, you're known as a certain type of jazz master, and I was wondering if you had any recommendations in terms of what our discussion has been here today uh, for musicians to do or artists to focus on. Well, it seemed that we, we started with the idea of earth changes, which is relevant because you, know, you were in Maui, 2015 or whenever you said you were there, now it's not there. You know, it's like, whoa, what is that? What happens? You know, up one day and down the next day. Right, that's the transiency of life. As an example, that's perfect. See? You don't know when it's not, what's there is not going to be there. We don't know who is not going to be here in, in time. Everything and everyone is going at some point. That's realistic. So this is not about, you know, music as such. Or, or people who are earth change fanatics. This is a heart issue. This is about heart changes. That includes everybody. Business. Military. I'm a military man. I love it. I loved it, man. Nothing better at the time what that was, and, and the music, and the band, and all, all of that good karma. But here we are as humans, this is a basic human nature, stripped down without, who are you without ego? People, who are we without our ego veils, our ego masking, our ego shields, our ego trips, who are we? When we think we're nothing, nobodies. We are soul, now and always, from the get-go. You're born soul, spirit soul. That means pure. Born pure. Imagine, you for all your shenanigans represent the purity of the soul nature, actually, the potential of it, to say the least. Right. That's us. Yeah. yeah. Knock, 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 Wood, Woodpecker. <laughs> yeah. See, so we're talking about what do the jazz masters, who are at the highest ranks of the business, recommend or represent to the people? Just music? Or love of 
beauty, a love of love, peace, a love of peace. Not none of that. Our artistic majesty and greatness is about generating suffering. It's it shows up as a solution for human suffering and stupidity, such as uh, on the magnitude of racism, hating your brother, hating another creation of the, the one divine one, the God itself, like destroying the, the children of God, so to speak. See, it's unthinkable, but it is happening all the time. See? People are not that sensitive at the soul level to recognize the importance of this kind of uh, revelation. That we are initially and essentially pure spirit, soul, nature. Some others would say Christ consciousness. Some others would say Buddha nature. Empty. Empty of suffering. <coughs> empty of hatred and unhappiness. Essentially goodness and compassion. It's a great potential. True nature. Most people say this guy is a daffy sort of whack job who doesn't know what he's talking about. Maybe. Maybe not. See, to the degree where maybe not, check yourself. Thank you.